Hello, my family, my friends, my diadems, and my jewels. It is your girl, Stephanie, and we are here today with a Saturday. Um, sit down and talk with me. It's a little vlog. Um, not, a, not even a vlog, but anyway, here's what it is. So, I first want to thank everybody that did this challenge. This was a... It was a challenge to Saturday to put up a vlog today on Saturday, no matter what it is that you were going to do, but to challenge you to put up a vlog on, uh, um, yeah, the vlog on Saturday, a video on Saturday about tag your it. And, um, so I want to thank everybody that did it. I did see a couple of people's, um, notifications so i'll be going back and watching them and kind of posting them um maybe tomorrow like on my page so that you as my um my friends and family if you're not connected with them you might be able to watch it but watch their videos but um tag your it means um it is um it came about because of a thought of you know um like when we we are uh, groomed or how we're taught to um, help others or say okay for your job this is what I talked about before um, when you at your job you go to school you learn you train to work in a certain position and uh, even in your church or whatever it is that you're doing you are trained in some kind of way, some kind of shape or form to work in that position. And in most positions and jobs and churches or wherever it is that you're working, your position is made, um, is given to you so that you can help other people. And even in your job, your job, even though you, you get paid for doing what it is, whatever it is in your job, you get paid to provide a service for people. They might be selling something. Um, they might be teaching somebody something. So your position is to be of service, period, point blank. So if you're servicing people out in the world or if you're servicing your employer. So every position and every work space that we have and everything that we work at and everything that we do is to... Um, service someone and in a church every job that you get in the church is to be of service to the body of Christ and who is the body of Christ the people that believe in Jesus and Jesus died on the cross for you to save to save our wretched souls okay but um <laughs> Um, so everything we do, no matter whether it's the church, no matter whether it's our job, when we in our homes, we're servicing our family, our husbands, our wives, our children, um, we're servicing somebody. And so to meaning that when, when we get our education or when we get trained to be a mother, to be a father, to be, um, a worker, to be, you know, whatever it is that you're doing when we get trained, we got tagged by somebody. You see what I'm saying? We got somebody tagged us, somebody imparted into us. Somebody gave us knowledge. Somebody gave us wisdom. If we went to school, if we went to college, our teachers went to college, so they got tagged in order to impart knowledge and wisdom into us. People in the church, if they working in the church, their job is not to hold on to a position forever, but to encourage somebody and to train somebody and to look to see who that next person is that's going to be taking over that position. Because, yeah, some people stay in a position until they can't let it go anymore, but eventually you have to let it go. So you have to, somebody else has to be tagged. So our job as individuals, no matter what it, what it is that we're doing um, for somebody, to somebody, with somebody, our job is to look to see who we can tag. If you are a mother, your job is to tag your children, but you have to raise them up right first. You have to teach them first. You have to impart in um, knowledge, wisdom, groom them, you know, show them how to be first, be a, an example. That's the main thing is to be an example for them so that they can see, um, 
righteousness so they can see the way, you know, the way to live right and to act right and to talk right and to walk right. So they can see that. So our first job um, as a as a teacher, a preacher, a mother, uh, you know, um, it's like wh whatever job it is that you do. The first job is to be an example. Uh, people get positions sometimes as supervisors. This is this is one of the main things is being a supervisor at a job. You have the opportunity to tag many people. Um, but if you are the type of supervisor that don't know how to handle power, you get power over people's lives or over their jobs, and you're not departing and imparting um, goodness and wisdom and knowledge into them and speaking life over them and encouraging them to be the best that they can do. If you're not doing that, then the opposite of what you're doing is tearing them down. You're taking your position for granted. You, you are, um, instead of helping them you you're discouraging them um you you like standing over them like a tyrant you know instead of going like this you going like this and so it doesn't it's so important for supervisors to know that your job is important because you are over all of these people and they need you to teach them, to give them some wisdom and to show them how to be a good supervisor for one thing. You know, so many people will talk about, I know y'all have probably heard people talk about how my supervisor was a bad person or all they did was fuss at me or they weren't never satisfied. That's not a good supervisor. That's not a good soup. That is a person that maybe you tired of your job and you need to tag somebody else and give it to somebody else and let and get and let that person <laughs> that can impart some goodness and some helping people rate raise people up and helping them from to get from one position to another. Maybe you need to let it go. You know, if that's not what you're doing, because it's like so weird and if we're not encouraging one another and helping one another you know um get from one place to another in their life then then what are we doing what what are we doing it for you know what i'm saying so it's like to know that you are responsible we are all responsible to tag somebody to tag somebody i don't know who you're responsible for i don't know um, who God has placed in your house, um, what kind, what type of job you have, who, who's under you in your workplace, but no matter where it is or in your church, or if you're a teacher, if you're a preacher, if you're a minister, whatever it is, no matter where you are at in your life, your response, our responsibility is to tag somebody is to impart something into somebody. And so these, these, um, videos that we're doing now, are we are tagging people because we are encouraging we are encouraging you to be the best that you can be we are encouraging you to walk a upright life walk in an upright position we have been to, been under some oppression from our government for the last four years and we did we ain't even gonna go all into that and so to be where we are now if anybody feels like me it's like um I feel some lightness. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's getting ready to disappear. I'm not saying that the the the, the, the president that we're going to have is going to be able to do everything that we need him to do. But at least we don't have to be under this bad aura. You know what I'm saying? This that that oppression and that's how you may feel if you're in a workplace and you have a a, a, a supervisor that's like that so we are we i i ask everybody to come on here to encourage them so i'm coming on to encourage you to always be the best that you can be look for somebody that you can tag and somebody that you can encourage and somebody that you can uplift and somebody that you can give some encouraging words to to help them move from one space to another we can't move, we can't help everybody but we can do the best that we can with the time that we have you see what i'm saying we can do the best that we can with the time
time that we have. And sometimes we have to move out of a space, move out of a space and move into another space in order to give that space to somebody else because somebody tagged them and now it's time for them to stand up and show what they can do for for people to show what they what that what God has placed in them so that they can give it out to the world. But if we don't never move and give people an opportunity, okay? And give people opportunity to show what it is that has been imparted into them, then all we doing is stagnating them. All we doing is hindering them. And we don't want to do that. We want to be a blessing to people. We want to be always be an encouragement to one another, always showing each other love and always showing each other understanding. I know it's not going to be we're not going to be able to do it every day, but if we be if we're mindful of it every you know, then we can do it maybe 80%, 90% of the time. We, and will we always be perfect? No, we'll never be perfect. There was only one perfect person, and that was Jesus Christ. And if you don't believe in him, sorry, that's who I believe in, Jesus Christ. Um, so you, so that was only the only perfect person that was here, you know, and that, that died for us. But we strive to be the best that we can be at all times. Um, so listen, be encouraged. Look for somebody that you can tag. Look for somebody that you can um, lift up and and help them to be the best that they can be. To help them walk in the blessings and the and the anointings that has been placed over their lives. Because it may we if we don't never move out of the position that we're in, how can we know that God has some greater for us in our life? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we got to move. We have to move so that God, God may have something greater for us, a greater platform, a higher platform and, and allow somebody else to move into where it is that they are supposed to be. So remember, look, tag, you are it. It is your turn to tag somebody, to encourage them, to uplift them, show them love, show them understanding. So I'm going to get out of here because I can talk all day long. You know what I'm <laughs> Okay, but we'll be all up in another conversation. But anyway, I love you guys with the love of the Lord. Uh, I thank you again for the people that did this Tag You Are It videos. So please look out for them and watch them. We love you. Um, keep striving. Keep working. Keep being the best that you can be at all times. Peace.